My name is Mani Nagasundaram from HCL. I think if you look at the financial services industry, you know, this year, it's going through a massive amount of disruption. We tend to look at disruption on three different criteria. One is, you know, the fintech uh, innovation, which is a lot of these small companies that are getting funded by venture capitalists and other Silicon Valley organizations that are attempting to disrupt various business functions within financial services organization. That's one kind of disruption. The second disruption is being caused by technologies that are coming out of various places. It could be from technology companies, it could be from elsewhere. Blockchain is an example, artificial intelligence is an example. Other cognitive technologies are also impacting financial services. They have the potential to disrupt financial services ways of working. And the third big disruption that we are currently seeing in the marketplace is what we call open innovation. This is uh, the whole open source movement that is giving rise to new technologies that are being shared across multiple organizations. A lot of people are creating new applications, businesses on top of open source technologies. Regulators in some of these markets are forcing banks to become a lot more open, asking them to expose their data to others so that others can build applications on top of them. Now, we've always believed that uh, they're not competitors. It is not one or the other. It is one plus one. So we've always believed that the best value for financial services organizations and their end customers would come through the collaboration of fintechs and financial services organization. That is really where we believe the success will come from. So if you take an example of a company like TransferWise, that firm is able to dramatically reduce the cost of money transfer, international money transfer. And you know, banks today are not in a position to compete. So that is one set of fintech organizations. So these fintech organizations are chipping away at the profitable parts of conventional financial services organizations. That's one impact fintech organizations will have. The other impact is fintech organizations are generally very digital savvy. So a collaboration between fintech organization and financial institution will lead to better products, better customer experience for consumers of financial services. So over the last 12, 12 months, we would have looked at about 100 fintech companies uh, globally, looking at what kind of impact they could potentially have on financial services organization. How do we get them to collaborate and work with financial services organizations? To this effect, we've set up fintech focused labs in different parts of the world. So we bring in fintechs into our labs, help them with POCs and POVs, and bring the customers into the labs as well. So we create an environment of collaboration where the customer, before they actually decide to consume a fintech service are able to see what the fintech service is, what the impact of that is going to be in a controlled lab-like environment. And I think one of the cornerstones of innovation is collaboration. That is how we are seeing that the business evolve today. So collaboration is very, very key. And there is a lot of drive towards openness, a lot of drive towards sharing information. There is a lot of drive towards sharing the technologies that people have created. And that is really what we're trying to foster within the organization.